Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Natural Language Understanding (NLU) has a lot of different phases. One of the important aspects of NLU is to understand what somebody is typing. For example, if I go to a website where, let's say, I can order food, and if I tell them like I want to order food, so the natural language understanding, the system that we have built, should understand that I my intent is to order food, and then based on that, they have to actually tell me. what is the next response like what kind of food you want to order so for this thing especially like chatbot conversational um, ai so for all these things one of the important aspect is paraphrasing a natural language text that a user is given so if i say something like i want to buy a iphone so then there should be somewhere you can create a lot of these kind of text for a uh, training this natural uh, language understanding bot or a conversational ai bot so having a good paraphrasing system would make a better conversational bot or even that is something that is quite essential so in this video i'm going to talk to you about a new python package that's called parrot and this python package is a paraphrasing package or i should say as the description says parrot is a paraphrase based utterance augmentation framework purpose built to accelerate training nlu models so the purpose of a paraphrase framework is more than just a paraphrasing model so it, like we we are not just doing only paraphrasing but uh, it is more than that but in this video i'm going to show you how you can simply paraphrase and the way you can use this is let's say you want to create an ai startup where you can automatically create questions based on a single word or uh, some text like you want to create an ai trivia or you want to create an ai quiz framework where you don't have to hard code a lot of details probably you are going to use some wikipedia data and then you want to generate questions yourself you want to paraphrase and then create answers yourself so this is going to be quite useful in that place but other than that as the developer says it is also going to be extremely helpful in nlu training or accelerating nlu training because you are going to get a lot of text with a similar meaning so first of all as we usually do let's thank the developer so the developer here is prithviraj damodaran so thanks to prithviraj for making this package and making it open source and if you have not done it please go ahead and start this github repository which i will link in the youtube description also first of all before we even move into the collab notebook quickly let's understand what makes a good paraphrasing model so the developer has given us all the information that we want so what makes a good paraphrasing model so the first one is adequacy the second one is fluency and then the third one is diversity so what is adequacy so adequacy is nothing but when you create a paraphrase whether it actually preserves the meaning of what we intend to say so if i say i want to order food the next paraphrasing food uh, like the paraphrased word should be like i want to order food so i'll quickly give you an example and then we can probably see the next one so in this case uh, the question is can you recommend some upscale restaurants in new york and uh, the the paraphrase let's say text says uh, can you recommend some high end restaurants in new york so now if you compare these two text so it has similar meaning like i want to try some upscale restaurants in new york so even if you see the words have changed the meaning stays same and that's what we are calling it adequacy so you measure a good paraphrase based on how adequate it is the second one is fluency so how fluent or how grammatically correct the paraphrase text is and then the third one is diversity even though you want to preserve similar meaning you want to uh, abide by the rules of the language that you are building in like grammatical rules but you still want it to be as diverse like uh, different from the original text that you have given that is what makes a good paraphrase or a good paraphrasing model so the good thing about parrot is parrot offers hyper parameters which this developer calls knobs to control adequacy fluency and diversity and that you can something like quickly look at uh, the function so if you see paraphrase argument as a function you have an option to uh, change the adequacy threshold you have an option to change the fluency threshold and you also have uh, an option to do diversity or not do diversity so that is a good segue for us to get started with the collab notebook so i'm going to show you a google collab notebook which you can also use and you can find in the youtube description so you can simply take my notebook fork it or copy and paste it and then you can start using it so the first step in this case i'm not using gpu so it's uh, it's, it's still the cpu so the first step is 
to install the library. So currently I'm downloading the library directly from the GitHub repository of the developer. So take pip install git plus and then directly install it. Ideally I should have done a quiet installation but you can now see what kind of packages are used. Transformers, sentence piece, uh, Levenstein package for sentence distance, uh, sentence transformer, fuzzy fuzzy, tokenizer and uh, sacramosis. So these are the packages that are used by this package which is like a wrapper around all these packages and offer you paraphrasing. So the next step is you import parrot uh, and then the class name is parrot with p caps and torch. So this library might show you a couple of warnings. If you do not want to receive the warnings, you can just ignore the warnings. So the way you can do it is import warnings and ignore warnings. So if you if you do not want those warnings, so that is once we do this thing. Now at this point, we have the important class um, imported and then we have a uh, torch, which is the back end and then we have import uh, ignored warnings. So the next step for us is to download a pre trained model. So this model comes from the hugging face um, model library. So currently there are 12 paraphrase models that are offered in uh, hugging face model hub. Uh, so one of the library uh, what we are downloading is from this author is um, parrot paraphrase which is uh, which use uses transform Google transformer T5 model. So now once we download this thing you can see that it downloads a bunch of models that we are going to use for for paraphrasing and while we do this thing we also mark uh, that we don't want to use GPU in this case. Once that is done this is uh, this is a slightly a uh, time taking process depending upon um, how fast it can download. Once that is done what you have to do is you have to give input text what you want to paraphrase. You can give either one text or you can give multiple text as a list uh, as a python list. So in my case I have given three text one is how much does iPhone cost in India? When was the last time India won a cricket match? I work for Amazon. Actually, I don't work for an Amazon. I don't work for Amazon, but you know, hypothetically speaking, I work for Amazon and it is an amazing place. So we have given two questions and one affirmative sentence and then we are trying to paraphrase it. And the way we do it is uh, we have parrot argument. Right now we are not giving any hyper parameters. We are just going with the default settings, but we can change the the hyper parameters or knobs as the developer call to change the settings based on uh, how we like it. So parrot argument and then we take the paraphrase like this is like in a for loop every iteration you have one text and then you get it and for every uh, iteration you would get a bunch of text and that's what we are going to iterate and then finally print. So let me uh, run it so that you you understand in real time how much time it actually takes to print it. Um, maybe I can uh, I can start with one question. Uh, how much does iPhone? Um, I, how much does an iPhone cost in India? And then I'm going to run this. When I run this thing, you can see like uh, it. Uh, we have printed the input question. How much does an iPhone cost in India? And then it's going to generate the output questions. So what do iPhone users pay in India? How much does it cost to buy iPhone in India? How much does an iPhone cost in India? iPhone in India cost. How much does an iPhone in India cost? How much does iPhone cost in India, which is I think um, quite similar to what we have given without this article. How much does an iPhone cost in India? So you can see um, that um, we have got five text with uh, with you know different uh, diversity or I wouldn't say different diversity because in this case the diversity is not optimized. So if you want to say diverse do diverse is equal to true. So if I copy this and then paste it so we can compare the text When I said do diverse equal to true and then if I run it I'll just keep this code false. You can see uh, how the text changes so in like what we got before and what we are going to get now. So how much does a new iPhone cost? How much does an iPhone cost in India? Uh, how much does a new iPhone cost? Like there are not much changes but you can see that uh, the text that was not available before is like how much does a new iPhone cost. So let's try with a different text now with uh, diverse false and diverse true. So the text that I want to probably try is um, um, uh, when was the last time India won a cricket. Okay, so when was the last time India won a cricket match? Taking this text, oops, okay, okay, I didn't, I didn't close it with quotes. Stop it, run it and run it. So let's see uh, how does it work. So how much, oh, okay, I think phrases, run this, run this. 
it was the last time India won a cricket match and uh, it's going to print the text for us. Uh, so how many times has uh, India won cricket? When did India win the last cricket match? When did India win a cricket match? Was it the last time that India won a cricket match? When was the last time India won a cricket match? And uh, when you add diversity, uh, like when you want more diverse results, we can try to see. And you have to understand like uh, the paraphrasing, the quality of paraphrasing is also, you know, uh, uh, it depends upon like uh, the kind of input text that we give. How much content it has got how much diverse it has got in what year in did india win a cricket match um and when was the last time india won a cricket match when is the last time india won a cricket match and you can see like a couple of tenses have changed so finally let's try with one final text before we move on to the hyper parameters and then see so this is i want to order biryani from bangalore okay i want to order biryani from bangalore i like biryani and i want to order biryani for, and i want to order it from bangalore okay uh or i can say i like biryani or uh, okay let's try this i like biryani and i want to order it from bangalore i know this text itself looks uh, slightly weird um so it didn't have multiple diversity so what are some good biryani restaurants in Bangalore let's see what what it is going to help us show us um the model is, so tell me the best biryani restaurant in Bangalore list the best biryani restaurants in Bangalore so show some of the best biryani restaurants in Bangalore which is the best biryani restaurant in the Bangalore um, can you list some good biryani restaurants in Bangalore recommend some good biryani restaurants in Bangalore and this is absolutely amazing because uh as far as i can say like all of these texts make sense and uh, with just one text you have actually got a bunch of uh, relevant text so now um, whether you are using going to use it for um, nlu augmentation like uh, if you're going to build a chatbot or you're just simply using it for paraphrasing there is a paraphrase tool online also for example um there is a very good application where um, uh, let's say you want to do text summarization but after you do text summarization uh, you still have got extractive summarization which means the original text um, is part of uh, the the text summarized text is actually part of the original text but what if you want to paraphrase it you don't want you know for plagiarism or uh, like copyright purposes a lot of different purposes you don't want it to be the original same text this is your solution you can simply paraphrase it and then get a different text that may not look like exactly the same text and when you enable diverse uh you can see uh some similar text but you also see slightly you know what are the biryani restaurants in bangalore uh which is the best biryani restaurant in bangalore which is the best biryani restaurant in bangalore and why so you can see that the question tries to you know uh, uh be more diverse but if you want to still play with other hyper parameters like i said uh there are there are a couple of other hyper parameters that you can definitely try out for example um for example in this case uh, you can say like number of uh, written phrases that you want maximum length of the text adequacy threshold let's say like you don't want a uh, highly adequate uh, you want only the fluency so i can say adequacy is like 0.5 fluency threshold is um, 9 and i want it to be true so if i run this thing or uh, i just want to yeah i'll run this thing then i can probably print it oops python and indentation oops okay and then run this so we, we are still in the biryani restaurant i'm actually hungry i have to go eat so you can see that it is loading and okay let just finish let me run it again you can see what which is the best biryani restaurant so the the results are quite similar it has not changed a lot uh we can do one final thing which is to reduce both um, uh, adequacy and fluency and then try what kind of text that we get. Still working. And you can see a uh, couple of other options like show me good biryani restaurants in Bangalore. Uh, uh, which is the best, re uh, what is the, which is the best biryani restaurant in Bangalore? Can you list the best biryani restaurant in Bangalore? 
so what's a good biryani restaurant in bangalore so uh, you can see like uh, the options have changed i wouldn't say a lot but uh, um, but it works it works uh, it works in such a way that you can actually take this and start you, you like you don't have to do a lot of pre processing to it so like i said like if you have a long text like if you have a like bunch of lines that you have summarized then you can definitely feed those texts like um, tokenized texts into this paraphrasing model and then get a para- paraphrase text which ideally should make sense but you can you know do a little bit of manual audit and then uh, start using it so this this is an amazing project like whether you use it for a chatbot or a training your nlu model or you are going to use it for like uh, the purposes that i mentioned like um, modifying your summarization or simply generating more paraphrase question like um, a quiz trivia application like if you want to do startup for whatever purpose you want to do this is an amazing library and uh, once again uh, thanks to prithviraj damodaran for making this library and then sharing it with us it has got a very uh, comprehensive documentation you should definitely check out the readme which i would link in the youtube description and please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to star this repository and appreciate this developer if you are on twitter or linkedin wherever you are um give a shout out to this developer for this amazing work and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise happy paraphrasing